Hi, I'm Auden. This is Rick. Hi. This started out as a how to thread my 111 because I keep forgetting video. And then it turned into like, hmm, my bobbin looks really loose. What? I'm happy. I'm smiling. Okay. So then it turned into my bobbin looks really loose. Oh my gosh. We have to get in there. Here, I'll show you real quick. What? Oh, you can't flip the camera. Okay. You have to like... We'll splice that in. <laughs> no, we won't. It's a lot. No, you have to get in there. You have to change screws. It's a mess. I'm clearly not into... Like, I wasn't ready to be on YouTube right now. But, okay. So, the point here is that we're going to have a quick talk about tension because I'm going to need to remember this later. And maybe it'll help one person with their 111 W155 or just their machine. So, this is my top thread tension okay so i thought it looked good the whole time like okay maybe it was a little this was the beginning and then it was tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter right going from this side to that side when you look on the back is why i thought my bobbin needed a lot of work because this is the beginning bobbin and then this is the end bobbin. Doesn't it look good? I didn't change the bobbin tension whatsoever. What we did was we pulled out the manual. Do you have that page in the manual? I'll get it for you. And the manual had this little diagram and it said if your bobbin looks straight, you know, somewhere, it had an image. I even labeled it for myself to keep. Um, it had an image of somewhere in the middle here that to tighten your top thread tension and so I was like what the heck why not it took like 10 turns of this top thread tension which um, when you look on the front of your machine is um, there are like two little tension discs I was turning the, the smaller one top right one. the top right one um, but yeah, so with no change to the bobbin, which like we said is a pain in the butt, um, here's the little piece of paper. It's on page 13 of the, was this the Navy 111 manual? Oh, that's the Singer 111. This is the Singer 111 manual. Um, but yeah, I was just so amazed. And this, I mean, I'm pretty much a newbie, but... You know, all these top tensions, they looked okay to me. I mean, obviously, this was a little loose to me, but this one, I was like, eh, we're bordering on a little tight here. But then when you look at the bobbin tension on the back, I'm like, well, obviously, that's the best one. So I might try to go for something in between these two. So this is my good one. It's a work in progress. Hopefully... This is helpful, at least to me. Sorry. It's hard to, like, the camera's here, and, like, I'm here. This is, like, yeah. Okay.